Uh, hey guys, I'm here at Wimsor Home Brew Supply Company with my girlfriend Brooklyn. How are you, Brooklyn? Good. Um, so we're gonna go in the store really fast, uh, pick up some bottles. God damn. God damn. Oh uh, yeah, so we're gonna go in the store really fast, pick up some bottles. Um, all right, this guy needs to shut up. Um, yeah, we got some bottles. To, um, Cause today's bottling day. We're gonna put the ale in the pail and put it up for sale. All right, guys, we got the bottles. We got um, two packs of 24 12 ounce amber bottles. Um, they're the generic type, no label, so you can see them here. Um, they're ready to be capped, fills, and let's get going. Can I say happy brewing? Yes, I can. Happy brewing. All right, hey, we're at my house. We're with my dad. Say hi, dad. Hi, dad. All right, well, we got this bucket with sanitizer. Step one, sanitize everything. Everything that's going to come in contact with the beer, make sure to sanitize it or else it might infect it and that's not good. I have my bottles that I picked up at Windsor Supply, uh, homebrew supply store. Very good, 12 ounce uh, amber bottles. Very nice. I'm gonna, and over here I have my fermented finished beer and I have a bucket that's going to go in it with a little spigot that's going to attach to the bottling one that'll help me bottle all these bo bottles. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get started. You're going to want to start out by dissolving around 5 ounces of priming sugar into 2 cups of boiling water. Alright, putting the rest of the priming sugar in this boiling water. It was boiling a minute ago. I had to pick up the uh, phone to film. Put the heat on a little bit more. Uh, that's going to be, it's going to, okay, it's going to be here for about 5 minutes. You're going to let it dissolve into the water for 5 minutes. It makes it a nice... Solution. All right. All right, so I have my priming sugar solution here. I'm gonna put it, pour it into um, my bottling bucket. Make sure to put that, make sure your spigot is off. That would be bad. All right, I'll put it in the bottom there. All right. Make sure it's all out. And then you're gonna wanna transfer your beer, siphon it into, into your from your fermenter into the bottling bucket using a siphon hose. Make sure not to get any of the sediment at the bottom. Yada, yada, yada. You know the rules. Let's get started. All right, now I'm going to start siphoning the beer into the bottling bucket here. Unfortunately, I dropped the hydrometer in here, and that kind of pissed me off. It's in there right now, and as you can see it, it's basically, it's in around 1.2, 1.02, 1.002. That's what it is. Um... Which is fine, but I can't get it out of there now until it's done. Which it might it might rupture the, the yeast cake at the bottom, but who cares? Rupture. Let's see what it does. I'm gonna start siphoning. Here we go. It's it's mixed. It's good to put the primary uh, the priming sugar solution in first because when it starts siphoning in, it mixes uh, automatically, which is nice. So yeah, I'm just gonna let this siphon in there, and when it's done, I'll update you guys. All right, it's almost done. Well, it's almost half, more than halfway there. Going through the siphon hose, I'm holding it at a good distance so it doesn't hit the yeast at the bottom. There it goes, going into there. Okay. Looks good, looks really nice. I'm excited, I'm excited to try this. All right, so I successfully siphoned all of um, the finished beer into the bottling bucket. It's there. I gave it a quick whirl for the, um, basically for the uh, priming solution of sugar to kick in, and so it has a nice even mixture throughout. Because you want to, you know, have it be perfect for all the bottles and not just for a couple, which is a common problem for new brewers. Um, now what I'm going to do is I have these bottles. I'm going to sanitize each one, and I'm going to start bottling. So I'm going to put a bottle. Right here, put it in the sanitizing solution, fill her up. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that, perfect. Looks good. All right, now that is sanitized. I'm gonna give it a quick little uh, bit with this, and I wanna do it to all the bottles. 
So that sounds good. Let's do it. Another thing you want to do is get your bottle caps. I have Brewer's Best bottle caps. You're going to want to cut the package open and you're going to pour those bad boys into the salute. Oh crap. All right, we're going to pour those bad boys into the sanitizer. There we go. Nothing like about the sanitized bottle caps. Haha. -ha. All right, now that is perfect. Awesome. All right, um, I have the beer in here, bottle bucket, the spigot. Attached some rubber tube hosing to that. I put that attached to that to this, um, uh, da, 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 what the fuck is it called? I don't know what it's called. It's like the bottling wand. That's yeah, called bottling wand. Um, this little black thing at the end when you, um, it basically, the only reason it can fill up the bottle in the first place is if you push it down. So once I open up the, uh, spigot here and I push this down, then at the bottom of the bottle, it'll fill up and then I lift up, it'll, It'll stop filling up. Now, as you know, this is my first time, um, so I have no idea how to do this. Um, I've only learned from online videos, but uh, let's give this a shot. All right, I have this now. I'm going to open the spigot. I have a bottle ready. Alright, here we go. Filling up the bottle, you can see. Looking good. Alright. That looks quite good to me. Put this to the side. Let's, let's cap it. All right, um, I have a lot of bottles to do, but for now, I'm just gonna focus on this one bottle because for the sake of the time of this video, I'm just gonna do one for now. I have my little wing capper here. I got some sanitized bottle caps now. Let's get going. Here we go, got my bottle cap, put it on top. Get this, first time doing it, I hope I do it right. Oh, what's that? Bang. Holy crap, I did it, it's on. Hell yeah, that's how you bottle a beer. Um, hope that's on right. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. There it is. There is the bottle cap. There is the beer bottle. There is the beer. Give it two weeks in a nice, cold, lukewarm area. Cold area? I don't know. I'll figure that out. All right, here we are, guys, with the final product. You may notice there's 39. That's because one of them fell and shattered. As you, w you can tell with the name of this channel, I am the newbie brew. So that means I am still a noob. <laughs> but um, I learned from that. I was cleaning them in the sink so they weren't sticky in here. Came at a cost. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. And in this case, I won 39 bottles of beer. I'm American, American Pale Ale, Donald Trump. Just kidding. Uh, this, this, uh, that does not reflect my political beliefs in this, in this video. Um, so basically, here we go. We got all the, I have the Brewer's Beer, Brewer's Best, uh, bottle caps on these babies. Um, I'm really excited to put them in a cold, uh, actually, a warm dark place for the next two weeks. That is gonna let these, um, the, uh, these bottle condition a little more. The sugar that I added in each one is going to react with the active yeast. And that's gonna make it bubbly and nice and fizzy. And yeah, American Pale Ale, the newbie brew, you know it. Um, and with that, I give you now, without joking, happy brewing.